Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly connect your USPS account to edit shipping labels as well as control um, shipping and order manifests over at your Shopify store. So the integration for this is quite simple and throughout the video, I'll be showing you guys just how to do it. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you wanna make sure of is that we're logged into our Shopify store as an administrator so the URL goes admin.shopify.com. As, as you guys can see here, this is what the dashboard looks like. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to sign up for a USPS, uh, USPS account, assuming that we don't already have one. So here's the page that you guys need to go to. So that's usps.com. But I'm on this particular page right here just to show you guys what I mean, as um, USPS actually comes with integration with other e-commerce platforms. So to show, uh, Here's a list of all of the platforms that are compatible with it. And you'll see that if, if you keep scrolling down, you'll see that Shopify is one of them. So here we are. Shopify will integrate easily with um, <clears throat> USPS. And to do so, uh, once you're in this page uh, for the uh, platforms and merchants and sellers page, you guys would want to click on uh, learn more and apply. So it can be either uh, this button right here or this doesn't really matter, but basically they'll pull up this form for you to sign up as a business. So this one is actually different from the normal sign up process. So you need to fill in all of your relevant info here pertaining to your name, your contact info, phone number, your business address, the address of your business, a zip code, so on and so forth, country, your business model, and what you want to use the USPS for. Now what's going to happen is once you create your account, you're going to head over to Shopify and you're going to extract your uh, store URL or domain name, which is this one right here under settings, copy it, and you would normally paste it here when you go to connect your store. And it's honestly that simple. So yeah, uh, hopefully this video helped you guys out. And uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.